fighting tonight for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight! And we are on the way tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Brew for those with a fighting spirit. Dominic Cruz is in white, Henry Cejudo in the black and gold befitting a champion. Really interesting to see what Henry Cejudo is going to do to deal with the movement and the footwork of Cruz. I gotta be honest, like just getting ready for a championship fight, no crowd or anything, my heart's still beating just as fast I'm as it would have been beating yeah. if they had a crowd in here. It feels the same. Oh yeah. You know how big the fight is. Yeah. Heavy yeah. leg kick early from Cejudo. Joe Cruz had suggested that Cejudo was training to fight Jose Aldo, who's a linear striker, and Dom is anything but with his figure eight style. <coughs> what do you think about preparing for a guy like Dom the way he moves? It's a big difference, but you know, the way Henry Cejudo prepares, I mean, they're incredibly meticulous. I'm sure they consider that Dominic, oh, that's a beautiful leg kick there, that Dominic was going to be a potential challenger. I'm sure that was in the, in the future. I mean, it's a big money fight for him. Dom's a yeah. big man. And if he wants to be considered one of the greatest band of weights of all time, he has to beat Dominic Cruz, right? You have to go through Dominic Cruz. He's, he's the guy. Dom's been the guy since the beginning of this division. Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. Grab one today at 7-Eleven. He is chopping with those leg kicks. Those are nasty leg kicks. Look at that. That's how you slow him down. That is how you slow him down. And that's what happened with TJ. TJ chopped at his legs and was pretty successful with it. At the end of the fight, actually had him limping. Motion trying to create an angle here about two minutes gone by round one of a possible five. Cejudo is throwing everything into those kicks, too. These are power leg kicks. Cejudo feints a level change. Cruz goes high. Questions surrounding Dominic Cruz coming in as he lost the step, having not competed since 2016. Nice knee from Cruz. This is what you said you see about Henry and Cruz. On the top, he said when he was getting takedowns in here, he was doing really good at controlling guys. Cruz was able to escape very quickly there. Dominic's legs are getting chewed already. Yeah. yeah, he's getting those legs are getting beat up early. Well, Henry's not just throwing those, he's throwing those with evil intentions. Hey, Cruz, give me a attack. We're not going to go. I'm not going to go. Almost like he's trying to kick across both legs. Yes. You're absolutely right. Two minutes here to go in round one. Cruz did talk a lot about feeling out these first steps. One, sorry, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? While the front doors may be closed, many restaurants are still open for delivery. Oh, nice, nice. Another interesting consideration is that Cejudo, since he's competed for so long as a flyweight, is used to faster guys. He's used to guys. Do lick it, let's call it a counter or no. One thing Triple C said to us last Friday, his ability to connect the mind and body in a championship combat setting is what sets him apart. He is not an emotional fighter. He has shown that man uh, across his entire career, but I feel like today, Dominic Cruz is the biggest challenge he's ever seen. He's never seen nothing like this. He's performing so well. Yeah, he's fighting well right now. But like you said, John, Dom, Dom said, you know, he takes the time to try to figure things out. Dom loaded up, just missed. Cerruto did not miss with the left hand. Yeah, chopping at those legs. Nice leg kick from Cruz. Yeah, very good shot from Cruz. Another one. Maybe a 
a clash of heads there. <laughs> Every time Dom changes levels like he's gonna shoot, Sahura really does crawl. Or changes his level down quick. He does not want to get taken down by Dominic Cruz. Strong start for the champion. Tonight's corner can is brought to you by Body Armor Sports Drink, superior hydration with no artificial flavors or dyes. Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. <laughs> Grab one today at 7 <laughs> Eleven. And here we see the, the leg kicks of Henry Cejudo, and he's throwing everything in. Look at the wind up in these. Yeah. Dominic tries to jump over the first one, but the second one kicks. Excuse me, tries to jump over with his first leg, but Cejudo hits it with the second leg. Big power in those leg kicks, really trying to take away the movement of Dominic Cruz. I'll be safe. Thank you. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. As much film as Dominic Cruz eats when he's calling fights, he doesn't watch film for his own fights, really. He didn't trust that to Eric Del Fierro, who told him after round one, it's a fight you gotta get mean. Well, that's part of having that long-time relationship with your coach, you know, and, and trusting him completely. That's what Dom does with Eric. Eric is one of the unheralded geniuses of the sport. You know, but likes to stay outside the sport. Oh, attack! Kill, 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 And I, I think when you have a people like Dominic Cruz that develop that mind, that does come from where you learn. You know, your coach has played a part in that. Jabri, gonna jabri, talk to you, talk to you. Dominic Cruz in this weight class, he's never been finished as a mixed martial arts pro by knockout, just a submission by favor back in the day of featherweight. Sahudo to the body. Sahudo has a real kick heavy attack today. But to know what's going on, he's going to hit Dominic Cruz because he moves. TJ, sorry. Cruz, go. Well, TJ is going to kill him. What's the damage there? Cruz connects on the cap of Cejudo. Yep, nice kick by Dom. That's two of them. And if you remember, Cejudo had a lot of trouble in his fight with DJ and also in a fight against Marlon Moraes with the leg kicks. Yeah, particularly the, the Marlon Moraes fight in that first round. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Like a partial connection by Sahuta with the right hand after Cruz had landed. Close combat to Sahuta. Never a bold character since 1872. Sahuta chopping at those legs. Yeah, chopping the wood, man. Trying to slow down Dominic Cruz. Oh, Cruz wise to that level change from Henry Cejudo less than three minutes here to go round two. Dominic Cruz told me that when he was getting hurt by Cody Garbrandt and he was a little behind, he said he started just fighting. He has to make sure he doesn't do that today because right yeah, now he's a little behind Henry Cejudo. Talk it, man. Oh, nice right there by Cruz. Gets right nice through right the middle. That was beautiful. Beautiful inside leg kick. Oh, oh nice combination. Nice oh, combo by Dom. Oh, and Eric Del Piero and the coaches want him to follow that up, but his hands are starting to find the range now. If he can get Henry Cejudo to start getting emotional. Oh. Beautiful kick there by Henry. We get Henry to start leaving openings because he's trying to make something happen. Oh, he heard him there with that right hand. Dom connected with a very good right hand there. Oh, by Cejudo. A lot of heavy leather being thrown and landed here round two. Tony Ferguson, Justin Gaethje waiting in the wings. Cejudo with a pretty right hand there. Cejudo, 2018 inductee into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. 
Yeah, that was very close. Yep, very close. Who knows fast, man? But this round is anybody's round to this point. Beautiful inside low kick there. Oh, the turn. Yeah, very nice. That one appeared to get Cejudo's attention. Shot from Henry, and he bails on. A lot of times he's grabbing the leg just to get close enough to punch. Cruz looks good. His movement looks good. Fighting a much better second round than he did in the first round. But Henry Cejudo is still on his game right now. Beautiful left hand by Dom after going for the single. And Keith Peterson immediately steps between the two athletes, so some adversity here for Henry. We'll take a look at it. It's the second time at least that they've collided heads. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that was moving at a different angle. You know, you're moving at a different direction. It's not in a bad spot. It's in the back. Oh, boy. I'm less happy. Oi. It's in the hairline, though. Watch your hands. Clash your hands. Ready? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Okay, sir. Damn it. Watch your head, watch your head. Alright, so late here, round two. Superman, look. Nice left left hand. Superman, punch you. Can you play that? That man's got some work to do on so much. Upper cut, upper cut, upper cut. Oh, hey! Go, 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 go. Recover, recover, recover. Love God. See you like ass of those that are. See you to the Bahar Kyoks to stick here to go to Dominic Cruz to get back in. It didn't look like he was out, that's for sure. It looked like he was trying to get back in. It looked like Henry tried to throw a kick. He caught the knee, down on his hands and knees, and. Yeah, I, I I can't say I agree with that stoppage. I think, you know, Keith Peterson... <laughs> he's got a good look at it, but it looked to me like Henry caught him with a good shot. And you got to give a guy a chance to recover. you got to give a, a guy a chance.